All right, everyone is loading in. And as you can see, I am starting from the last row. Strength field 2,300, so that's actually really low for this series. I'm the number two car, so that just goes to show you that this is a bit of a not terrible field. I believe everyone's above average. Average being the uh, 1,350, so it looks like the number 16 is uh, 1,600. Um, so I'm just starting at the back. I've already done a race and got murdered into the corner by someone who thinks that you just go full throttle as hard as you can, even when there's someone in front of you. So we're just going to hang out back here and hope it slicks off. And once it does, we're going to roll the bottom. Uh, that's not the quickest way around. The quickest way is to do kind of a uh, big diamond where you do a big slider up into the middle of the corner from the bottom and then cut down and hit the bottom on exit and you're really never going up near the wall on the straightaways. You're almost closer to the inside wall. Um, I've tried it. Can't really get it to work. And this setup is more to uh, just be right down around the bottom, not get too sideways, not drive in too deep. I'm assuming this, this one is more to it kind of keeps the car flatter. Um, I'm assuming some of those rear ends that really lean over are what you need in order to uh, do that big diamond line. But yeah, we're just going to chill and wait for everyone to start wrecking or get slower and then we'll start making passes. And if we don't get to the front, oh well. You know, this is just for fun. I mean, I'm on my second race, so, you know, first one essentially got ruined. I don't like doing more than one race at a place. I like the whole one and done scenario. But since we're in the second one, I'm just gonna start at the back and kind of count this as a freebie, but yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, you're going to see a lot of different corner entry lines, and things are going to get weird. Get ready. Going but green. Also, side note, up to 5,025 subscribers is job. awesome. Hopefully, end of the year goal of 10,000 is what I want to see. And here we go. We're already getting crazy on the straights. I have to make sure that I don't talk too much crap about people. Had a uh, lot of people PMing me in this one. So Loic's up at front. We'll uh, hopefully be able to see him and not back here. We'll let these guys just get all sorted out. Seven car is plowing into the 10. We got people wrecked back here. Line up, single file. Pit road is closed. And there you go. So, all the racing everyone just did didn't matter, didn't get them anywhere. So, that's why when you got yellows in a series and you know there's going to be issues, it's not too pressing or urgent to get to the front. And I'm not fast enough to run in the front right now, so... I know my speed, and I know how to get, get the up, finishes. But yeah, uh, subscribers up to 5,025, hoping 10,000 by the end of 2021. That would be great if I can double it in the next 11 months. And I really think I can pretty close, easily. Close, uh, close. It's just... Like, right now, 60% of my viewers are not subscribers, which is crazy, because that means they're not constantly seeing when I post a video. It's just them browsing or uh, getting suggested. So, I guess that's kind of good, but, uh, yeah. Hopefully, 10,000, if I can just keep 
getting a thousand every two months that should get me there but would like to see a big spike up there just helps getting in the search engines more and uh, it's good to see that people enjoy whatever this is that I do it's been a lot of fun I mean the amount of racing I've done just because of this channel is more than I've ever done in the 12 years that I've been in iRacing. Like last year I did over 500 races. Is like before it was maybe 100 Glad races. So focused. it's made me enjoy this. And yeah, well, let's get back to racing. Let's see what happens this time around. Seen the nine car looking three wide to try to get it all back in one turn. <laughs> well, the nine is up on incidents. Now we got seven car having issues. It's all pointless right now. Like they're just banging around. And if it was a clean league, knew how people race and everything then uh yeah go for it have fun race the entire 50 laps but with it being an open series i gotta get past this guy before he wrecks me with the open series it's just get away from the crazies speaking of here comes the seven overdriving corner entry People that do that, I don't understand. Like, they gain so much into the corner, and then they're farther behind by the middle of the next straightaway, and they just don't understand it. I think a lot of people just don't look at what others are doing. And you can learn a ton off of watching other drivers. I mean, that's how I know where to when to start switching my lanes up is I'm watching everyone else's line in front of me in the mirror and kind of judging what they're gaining and not. So yeah, right now, setup's not great. It's a bit tight, but that's going to come in hopefully once it slicks off. bad thing is, as we start to move up, there's going to be a point where I'm not going to be able to just let the crazies go and then pass them when they screw up. So then we'll get wrecked probably at the end, but we'll get around these two guys, hopefully. Yep. Got past uh, one of them. He, I think he slid up and then got hit by the 13. Only 10 laps in. 40 laps left. Long ways to go. So. You can tell the people that are very... I don't know the nice word to put it. Hopefully he's not a viewer. But they're like essentially racing under yellow. So yeah, 10 car, I think, slid up and got spun. I mean, it was pointless to do that slide job. He could have just hooked it up on the bottom like I was. But here we are now in 12th. I'm a little worried about the seven because he's going to be starting inside row. Seven, See, like people that pass people under caution. I just I don't understand why you would do that with a car that sways all around on the straightaway because you're just asking to get ran into. 
That's just me. I guess I'm just old. Oh, and the fans are on here for some reason. I don't know why all the tracks are starting to do that. Okay, this guy finally figured out what line he's supposed to be in. The seven car is just going to blast into turn one. The nine car with all that beating and banging he did at the start there to try to get spots back. He's now three inches in front of us. Get ready. Going green. It's just... It's why I race the way I do. The pace car is off. The pace car is off. Be ready. The only lap that counts is the last one. Alright, so they piled up on the inside line and we didn't get into it. Then the five car just drove in. The fuck? <laughs> He's just, like, that looked like a... I don't even know. It looked like the dude was just going to take him out. He didn't even try to slow down. There's a seven car racing under yellow again. I don't know what the hell happened on that inside line. Then everyone started beating and banging ahead of us. Somehow we didn't get involved, found a nice little pocket to sit in through that. Still a 0x. Both cars going to the back for that caution. Five car is out of the race, it looks like, as well as the six car who was involved in that start wreck. So that's three more cars that we just passed we there. Right now. Good thing about that is we didn't get plowed into because the seven was running into whatever was going on. Now we should be inside row. But I haven't counted the cars in front. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we are nine. So the nine car's gotta be getting close. I think he's around six incidents right now. So he's already halfway to getting disqualified, and we're only 11 laps in. I have no idea what the 13's doing. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the inside. I Catch believe up, he just left. That moves me up a whole row there. Seven car is starting on the inside. Oh, boy. About to go green. Stay focused. Let's see how they wipe themselves out this time. Yep, just turn down. It's all good. Just don't worry about the people running on the inside. Alright, we're up to 2x. That guy's probably at 8x now. I don't know if he got spun or if he just turned down there, but... You really can't change lanes in the middle of pack racing. You can start doing it when the people around you are a little farther apart, but you start doing that, yeah, had no time to back, so. And now the seven's trying to pass us under caution. Yeah. We're going to be on the inside and up to seventh now. And 12 laps in.
I just, I need some space between me and the seven. That's my biggest worry right now. He is just overdriving the hell out of the corner with people in front of him. One left to green. You'll be lining up on the inside. This he'll be a two are outside and shouldn't be able to get us. We'll just have to watch out for the 16 getting turned. Go green, stay focused. Alright. We haven't got a terrible start there. Just kind of had to lift. They're all sliding up. Nine cars running into people back there. Some cars just driving in like no one's in front of him. And we barely missed that wreck. That one would have took us out. That puts me where I wanted to be, though. Now we just gotta watch out for the 16. He's driving it in fairly deep. Hopefully he's seen and understand. No, he got either two sideways or hit by the seven. Now they're losing time. I'm gonna run the middle here. Need to pull my delta bar up so I can kind of gauge what the lines are doing. Loic's going for the lead. Slides up in front of the leader. Good crossover by the leader. Little contact. And he's going to hold on to it for now. A car gets a little bump, in, I think. Just ran into the back of the 14 there. Hey, seven cars slowed down for me. I figured we were going to get murdered there when I looked in the mirror. I think he's finally figured out that I enter the corner slow so that I can stay down here. A little too sideways there. Not going to get a drive off. Yeah, just sliding a bit too much in three and four up. Seven's gonna try three wide up the middle or something stupid, isn't he? Lit up again too much. Entry is pretty worn into three, making it harder to stay down low. All right, I'm not as worried about the seven anymore. Seems like he understands what I'm doing now, and he's going to pass us on the high side. We'll let him go and watch him run into the eight. We've got to keep an eye on the 16 behind us. Seven screwed up there, apparently. Still a long ways to go, so I'm not concerned. I'm ahead of a lot of things. 16 is really flying into the corner. As it slicks off, I think I'm going to just let him go ahead. As it slicks off, I'm going to be able to pass these guys, I'm pretty sure. So let's go up and run their line and try to slick it off quicker. Maybe learn a thing or two. That's right now it's the quickest line.
All right, let's try the big diamond. Let's see if I can do that without flipping over the wall. Didn't really do it right. Didn't turn down in the center of the corner. Just halfway, so very long ways to go. And I may only get seven. We'll see. Feel like there's gonna be some contact though ahead. Haven't seen the 16 use a different line, so he very well could run into the back of the eight like he nearly did there. Nine cars catching back up as I'm screwing around here. Let's get back to the bottom. Get in the groove of that. Instantly two tenths quicker than running the top, even down the back stretch though, so. Obviously, lower line gets you to the points quicker, but two tenths overall quicker if I hit it right. We'll be able to catch back up to these guys. And we're not going to be heating up our tires as bad. We're having a good race up for the lead, though. Just not quick enough for that. Track's not slicking off as quick as the other time, so that's also not helping, but lap 30 is about the lap that I thought it would start coming back to me, so let's see. Almost hit the wall there. Doing a bunch of funny things with the brakes to get the nose where I needed it. Try something here. Now that I've ran the bottom a few times. Yeah, we're kind of catching the leaders as a group. Well, not the leaders, but third, I guess. Should be able to get back past the 16 in a second. Seven cars now doing that diamond lined, it looks like. Or at least kind of did there out of the corner. it in a little harder try to get some more through the center nope too high in the slick not gonna have a good exit low and slow just got to be patient it's gonna take a few laps to get around this guy Catching back up to the 7, also catching the 8, which should help me pass the 16. Having a good race with the 16 now. 
Seven car has proved me wrong on everything I thought with him. Uh, 16 starting to swerve a little on the straightaway. You're gonna have to watch out for that. Good exit there. Now up to the eight. That's going to put us into fifth. And I feel like I'm pretty damn quick right now. Told you it was going to come in. Just can't hit that wall. So a lot of these guys are just spinning their tires up in that slick on the high side. And that's of course, making them a little slower and heating the tires up. Even though there's not wear, there's a lot of tire heat. Eef. All right, you just proved me right. Well, hopefully that didn't cause any issues to the rear. At least it's only a 4X. Did that... Okay, that took more than the 7 out. Maybe it wasn't the 7. Maybe it was 3rd place screwing up. And that puts me here in 3rd. And... Might have a shot. Might have a shot at this one. We're going to be single final restart. So... Yeah, we'll see. Let's see if we can get a Loic. I told him I hoped I'd see him at the front end of this and not him joining me at the back end. So, we got that part done. Now we just can't run into each other. But, if I can get my groove back on that bottom side quickly, then we might have a shot. At second, the mm, lead's going to be difficult, but feeling good. I just hope the 16 doesn't try to go low into turn one, because that's where I'm going to be, and I've got to slow down, and these people on restarts do not. About to go green, stay focused. The pace car is off. The pace car is off. Be ready. I oh, thought he was gone. And he was, and he wasn't. Green, green, green. You're now in third. He went in really hot there. I hope he's not cutting down. Leader's having issues. Slid up a bit too much there. Get it turned back down. Hit the grip. Don't have enough for the leader unless he has an issue, but you can see on the straightaway, he's up in that slick and just not going anywhere. Holy shit. <laughs> All you people bitching at the start of this race. Why don't you go race? Why don't you run in the front? 
How's this for running in the front? going to try to cut down and take away the bottom line. Slow it down. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Losing the bottom a bit. Just got to get a little lower. <laughs> Holy shit, it's going to be a drag race. Oh, fuck, he got it. What a race. What a fucking race. <laughs> I'm not even happy about losing that. That was fucking awesome. Oh my god, that was some great racing. Wow. That was fun. <laughs> that is why I play this. That's why I play this game. For the moments like that. What a... What a race. That was so much fun. Two completely different lines. And, uh... I want to watch that back and just... Lugs helped me out quite a bit, so... Let's watch that back. Oh my god, what a race. Damn it, that is, that is the fun. That is, that is, that's fucking racing. I don't care if it's a video game or simulator or whatever you want to call it. That right there was racing. That's... That is... Some awesome shit. Just nice and slow around the bottom. Hitting the lines I need to. Had it been one lap shorter, we had the lead at the white. Started getting more aggressive with my corner entry. Try to get more speed, but then lock it down so I didn't slide up on those last two laps. And I just kind of screwed it up on three and four. But instantly, right there, we were all of a sudden by him. Or next to him, I guess. And it's like, holy shit, I have a chance. I have a shot at this. So he, he gets a run off the corner, obviously, on the high side. Right about the middle of the straight, though, that slick hits, and he's got a little harder time down there. I was a little too high there. 
right rear in the slick. What are we on now? Lap 47. way too high there, so that got him all the way ahead of me. Ooh, I nearly hit him there. There we go. I hit, I hit it right that time, but he's ahead of me. But then I'm really aggressive on my corner entry start using quite a bit of brake to hold it down and be a little harder in right there you see me just locking up the rears he pushes a little high and we get it hooked up here white flag in the air really aggressive on the braking if they had it modeled those rotors would be glowing and sparks flying off of them the way I was driving it in there Just a little high. Little high right there. <laughs> what an awesome race. Oh, I needed that. This week had started to go to shit and then getting wrecked earlier. That was awesome. That was that was just awesome. There's nothing more I can say about that. Let's look at the results real quick. I don't even want to look at Rex. We don't need to bother with that. We gotta watch some racing. Racing is always much more fun to watch than Rex. All right, here you go. Results up 52i rating, up some safety rating, get 127 points. Like I said, not that big of a strength of field. Number one wins. Number two gets second. Oh, what happened to Loic? I didn't even see that. But uh. What an awesome race. I hope you enjoyed that, because that that is the racing that I want. I wish everything could be that that great. I mean, had a little more time, maybe, but me starting at the front there wouldn't have changed anything, because I'm not quick until I get into a track like that, where it's slicker, where I can hit the bottom and make a second lane work. So, me being up there and trying to battle to stay up there changes nothing because we reset with what six laps to go eight laps to go and i was third then so yeah that is that is awesome that was the best race i've had in these i hope you watched it all because that was awesome thanks for watching